Yeah, well, welcome everyone to the Horrorcast, episode 68, the season premiere of our new season for 2016-2017. All right, got that out with a mouthful. I am, I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Greetings and salutations. Okay, so um, I want to talk about the topic of this is going to be Evil Dead. Okay? Ooh, yes. Now... Um, I just want to show off. I went through my old collection of VHS, and it's a funny story to tell. That's what you used to with the four DVDs, right. just like uh, Paul McCartney was with a group before Wings. Right. I, I, I have a funny story to tell. Now, I, if you didn't know, my favorite horror movies are Friday the 13th, right? But my next is Evil Dead. Now, um, the thing is, well, that and Halloween, they, they were my favorites. Uh, what, was your first, what was your first uh, literally horror flick that you bought? First horror movie that i ever seen in the theaters was Friday the 13th Part 3. But what, what was the first uh, video you bought? Oh, God. Friday, probably Friday the 13th. So I didn't, whatever. Friday the 13th was my, my, my favorite. But the, the funny thing, this is a funny story here. I loved the Evil Dead movie so much mm -hmm. that I was always afraid that it would get busted and I wouldn't be able to watch it again. So I went a little crazy and I bought multiple VHS oh, no. copies. So now this is, this is one VHS copy of the Evil Dead, right? Then I got another one. Okay. Then I got another one. Oh, I love that cover. Right? And then, it's funny, I only have one copy of the Evil Dead 2. Okay? But Army of Darkness, I have also have three copies. I have one. I can't remember if that, it was that one or the first one they made a video, a video game of. Now, this one here, this is an interesting thing. I went to a... Um, I went to a toy convention slash whatever convention, you know, yeah. our convention. And this is a special um, stuff that wasn't released in Army of Darkness, the alternate endings where he woke up in the future, far future. I don't know if you ever saw that clip. What, like instead of waking up and, and battling an S-Mart, he yeah. woke up in a cave and it was the apocalypse, and he was the only one alive, and everything was destroyed. This is a sounds familiar. This is a special. This is a special rare one. You probably find it on YouTube, um, and it was also um, uncut scenes and stuff like that. I also bought a similar one to Aliens, where you got to see Newt's family get killed and Newt's family, whatever. So um, that's the interesting. Now, what's great about this is that we got Ash vs. Evil Dead. I mean, we yes. never got an, an Army of Darkness 2 or a Evil Dead 4, whatever you want to call it, but we got a reboot. Now, we saw the new saw the reboot. I liked it. Yes. When they showed him at the end, I'm like, why can't he be in the movies? That's great, you know? And we never got that. that. So that, that uh, Easter egg at the end of the movie. Groovy. Yeah. And the thing is, I love Ash vs. Evil Dead. The only problem I have with it is why can't they reference anything yeah. to do with Army of Darkness? And they said something about this illegal battle where somebody else has the rights to what happened in that movie. They can't mention that he traveled back in time. They can't mention all that stuff. And That's that drives tough. me nuts because this is my favorite yeah. one. And it's and I do like the first one and the second one, but it was this one that really that was your baby, it. and you wanted to see it. Yeah. So I didn't. I and when I first heard that they were going to do it, I was like half hour. That's not enough. But then you got to think of commercials and everything. So it's about the same thing, you know, a forty-five minute episode of like Star Trek, whatever, with the yeah. commercials and everything. It's basically, you know. So I mean, that's the whole thing. I mean, I I really I'm, I love the show. I want more of it. And we got Lee Majors as his dad, which they could not have picked a better person to be his dad, though. That's right. Now, you know I hated the finale. 
I yeah. really don't like the way it ended. And and lo and behold, they did what I wanted to do anyway to make him team up with her again, who's uh-huh. lawless, which that's what I thought should have been the thing. She shouldn't have been a bad guy. She shouldn't have been the one that I think they just wanted to introduce her at, at, so they could so you could try to judge, okay, where is her loyalties? And once you find out where she actually stood, then you could understand the first season and why she acted the way she did. I mean, I thought, you know what I also did too? I also thought that the girl the uh, that was, she wanted dying. And I was surprised because I thought that they were going to make her part of the, the crew, you know? I had suspicion she was going to die, but I figured they would at least held up to the second, some part, to, at least of the second season, do they actually... Because they built her up like they were going to keep her. And I'm like, oh, okay, she's got a backstory. She can, you know, whatever. And they just, they killed her. And I'm like, oh, man. But at least they held off. It's not like, oh, three episodes in. She's dead. Like they sometimes do. Uh, they wait at least till, if not the end episode, then the next end episode to, to do that. Now, we, we hopefully are going to get... Um, Another season out of this, I hope, besides two. I know that Stars was purchased by, is it Stars that has, yeah, even that, they, 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 I sure even that they were purchased by somebody else. I don't know what the situation is, but I really hope that it continues. If it doesn't continue on Stars, I'm hoping that they could somehow do a movie. Yes. And continue it on, because I think what happens is it's so popular again that it would be stupid not to do a movie. Really, and I would love if somehow they could do an Army of Darkness too, where they could have those characters in the past come to the present. Ooh, yes, even though they're older, like I, you know, the night everybody they yep. come to Ash's time, uh, and they said that something is wrong or something, and they got to help them something out. Ash or, did or said brought them. Something to the happened future. in the past, and and there's like a time distortion or something he's got to go backwards again um but it'll be really cool if they could do that so i did love that a lot um but again it's so popular i mean yes. you know it's amazing and and sam Ramy and they did practical effects too and that's what was i think that's what everybody likes so much about it was they didn't go so heavily into cgi yeah. they used actually practical effects just like uh, Raimi did in the first uh, in the first movie and the other movies. Now, is this a different? The creatures are the ones that he gave birth to. Um, the uh, they're not going to be the regular deadites. They're going to be like these other. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm demonic thinking. things, not the yeah. same ones that he did. Oh, okay. I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. But it's October, so that's fabulous. Yeah, really uh, looking forward way- to it. I probably I gotta get the um, the DVD version of the Ash vs Evil Dead season one. Um, I wanted to go to Best Buy because I was talking to my D about they had the um, Fire Thirteenth Crystal Lake Murders thing, like there was a documentary. Yeah, but I want to go because I want to get pick up um, the DVD version if they have that Ash vs Evil Dead. Let's see, you know. You always call them ahead of time and check on their website. Yeah, I mean, I, I can look on the website. I, I have, I have DVD stuff of Evil Dead and stuff, but I wanna, I, I gotta get Blu-ray, which is sad. Yeah, get the PlayStation, you know, but just have a separate. How are Blu-rays doing right? I keep hearing one minute they're doing good, and the next minute they're not doing that great. I mean, I don't really. I, I they are doing good, I guess. But the thing is, you know, I want to have a separate thing other than the PlayStation. Okay. The kids have the PlayStation, they take it back, but I want to have a, a separate Blu-ray play, but then I got to get a new TV and all that stuff. So yeah. All this drama. But anyway, I still I still get the DVDs also. So we'll see what happens. They did have the video games. I know what you're talking about. They had a Genesis. I think, was it a Genesis game? I can't remember if it was Genesis or NES. I know it's one of those two. It was play, no, PlayStation. PlayStation. I had it for PlayStation. It was, uh, he had a midget that was helping him. I, I never I, played it. That's just it. I just remember there was a thing called Game I have, I have whatever Evil Dead games that they had, I have in the closet. I think I got to bust it out. Um, some stuff I didn't even realize it had. But <laughs> yeah, I, I have, uh, I think there's two different Evil Dead games that I got. 
from PlayStation. No, I, was PlayStation. Uh, I think it's PlayStation One. Or was it PlayStation Two? I gotta think. I don't think it was PlayStation Two. I think it was more aligned PlayStation One, one because. Yeah. Like I said, we had a, a game exchange up here at one time, and I'd go up, oh, God, I that was like my hallowed site I'd go to. And they had that, that wasn't the, that wasn't the play, the PS1 section, because they had them on all these um, uh, shelves, and then they moved, then they moved to a place where, uh, Oh, where was it? Uh, up near where uh, where we got our uh, Barnes and Noble, and then eventually they just closed all together. Yeah, they, there is. There's been six Evil Dead games: Evil Dead for Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum. Hail to the King on 2000 for PlayStation. I had that. It was also for Dreamcast and PC. Evil Dead a fist. Uh, a fistful of, of boomstick. That's the one I saw. That's Xbox. the one I saw. Uh, and the Evil Dead Re Regeneration, which I had that also. So well, let me yeah, just... Put some was the one I remember seeing at the uh, game exchange. Yeah, let me just uh, screen share this if I can. Okay, so yeah, the Evil Dead, I had that. I had that. Um... I had that. Yeah, so I had these three. I didn't have um, Commodore version, but yeah, it's that second. Yeah, it's that second one. That little second. I had this one. with the midget one and the fistful boomstick, and this one here. Hell yeah, to the kid. That was great. Yeah, that was the two I saw there. Yeah. So cool. All right. So I can't wait for Edge vs Evil Dead season two. Yes. yes. Come on, hurry up October. For one time, I'm thinking, hurry up October, because I want to see it. They should, I wonder if they have Halloween costume stuff too with Ash and stuff like that. Oh, this year. So that would be, oh, I gotta go to Party be. City with Chow and I gotta go check it out. All right, so this is the season premiere of the horror cast. We're going to try to do more horror casts than usual uh, because I feel that the show has been, you know, I gotta put out some more, you know. So we're gonna try to bring that to you. Thank you very much, Scott. You're welcome. Thank you for Take having care. me. You're welcome. Take care. Bye for now.